What do you think? You're gold plated or something? <laughs> Mama! 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 Is that you, Ruthie? What's wrong with you? Why don't you be cool? Ruthie? Tell her. Now look what you did. I'm gonna let you go. But if you tell, I'll kill you. I promise. Understand? your name and address from scientific associates. Dear Rebecca. Dear Rebecca. Let's take a sunbath together. <laughs> Dear Miss Me. I got your name from my list from scientific associates. I just lay dead and wait for her to answer my letter. Chick must move a lot. Guy needs those kind of clothes, got nothing inside. She wouldn't like that. Guy. Wild clothes like that. She's got no phone. She must move around a lot. Kind of digs a guy who comes on. Not too strong, just cool. Yeah, cool. Digs guys with some class. One step ahead of her all the time. Be a break if Rebecca has a little bread. That's a big plus, yeah. To have a chick with money makes everything so easy. Kind of chick doesn't have a phone. Weird, maybe. Yeah. Maybe she's a weird chick. Could be. Sure. She could be. And it's a gamble. Always a gamble. A chick will be weird. Yeah, that's worth a couple of bucks. Buy a bunch of flowers. Drive out to her place. She comes to the door. Yeah. Chicks take that. How goes with the book writing, Ma? Great, great. I got two publishers fighting over it. Then I guess you won't sell the movie rights to that guy from studio. Oh, not yet. Pink. Pink goes good with blondes. Yeah, maybe. Red and white. No. Oh, it's too flashy. She'll think I'm on a hustle. You're not? Dumb looking flowers. No bachelor buttons. Could be a funny peasant from a bachelor who takes you. Got no bachelor buttons. Well, that's okay. Be a wrong move anyway. Too obvious. Yeah, bad scene. What do you got that's cheap? Spring flowers? Yeah, yeah. Give me two bunches of those and look like I spent a lot of bread. <laughs> That'll turn her on. Couple of bunches. Two bucks and I come off heavy. Yeah. I'll take a quick 
quick shower. Put on a little of that aftershave, lemon. I'll smell good. Drive out to Pasadena. Knock on a door. No. Maybe I'll sit in the car and wait for her to come home. Yeah, I'll wait. Yeah, she comes down the street. Five, seven. Blonde, blue eyes. 23. Great figure. Yeah, I'd know her anywhere. Hi, Rebecca, these are for you. I'm Mal Weston. Zap. Right out of her mind. Right out of her mind. looks like money. She's probably staying with an aunt or a grandmother or something. Maybe a relative with a lot of heavy bread. 23. Probably taking some grad courses. Where is she? Out with some relatives? Uh, screw me up if she comes home with them. Blow my bit. Maybe a date. Some guy from the university. No, oh, it's not her style. She wouldn't have laid out five bucks for the computer service. No. No, she's the kind of chick who calls her own shots. This is Dr. Weston. Uh, I've just received an emergency call, and all the party left was their, was their address. Now, I, I need the party's name and the phone number for the ambulance. May I ring you back on your office phone, doctor? Operator, the patient has just had a massive heart seizure. Now, I'm not in my office. This is an emergency. What is that address, doctor? 406 South Rutherford Street in Pasadena. One moment, please. in the name of Sophie Tate Curtis, and the number is 792-1099. 792-1099. Thank you very much, Operator. And I tried to find another hat that would look good with this dress, but here I am in a Breton again. I suppose it really is my trademark. Shelby is never this late. We're going to miss our table at the Tivoli. Well, we only have three choices. One, we wait. Two, we go on without her. And three... That must be her calling us now. Now, don't scold her, Missy. Hello? Uh, this is Mal Weston. Uh, I'd like to speak to Miss Mead, if I may. Uh, this is Rebecca Mead speaking. Well, I subscribe to the computer dating service you belong to, Scientific Associates. 
Well, I hope you don't mind, but I tracked your address down. That's how I got your phone number. Uh, could, could, could you wait just a moment, Mr. Weston? What's wrong with telling him on the phone what we're going to put in a letter for Pete's sake? How did he get our number? He explained that, and I'll tell you later. Now, may I return to this conversation without further harassment? No, you may not, Missy. You may hang up that phone and be done with it. You are not Rebecca Mead. She is 23. He can't see me on the phone, so how can he know how old I am? Oh, let her talk to him, Evelyn. Stop acting like an old poot. Mr. Weston? I hope I'm not causing you a problem by calling. I, I wrote to you. Yes, I had your letter. I was just about to sit down to answer it. Well, why don't you Why don't you answer it in person? Look, I'm going to be in, in your neighborhood later. Why don't we have, have a drink someplace? You know, have a drink together. I couldn't do that. Um, you see, I became engaged soon after I sent in that computer form, and I'm leaving for Hawaii to meet my fiancé in the next day or two. We decided that was too complicated a story to tell. Well, I'm only telling it to this one, and he seemed to believe it. I excuse me, uh, uh, there was a noise here, Mr. Weston. Would you repeat that, please? I said I'm sure your fiancé wouldn't mind if you and I had a drink together. Oh, that's because you don't know my fiancé. <laughs> then let's not tell him. Oh, I couldn't do that. I think you'd really like to. I tell you what, there's a there's a nice cocktail lounge in Pasadena, the, the Velvet Trap. It's just off Colorado on post. Now I'll be there at oh five thirty. Oh, I'm certainly flattered, but I. You won't have any trouble picking me out. I'm, I'm six feet two. I weigh one hundred and ninety five pounds, and I'll I'll have on. The... No, I I really couldn't possibly, Mr. Weston. Yes, you can, and I'm sure you will. Now look, it's only one friendly hello and goodbye drink. I'll be there at 5.30. You'll be there. a bigger man with a mustache. He looks like a martini drinker to me. Mm, I certainly hope not. You're about to eat your orange slice, Elizabeth, and you know you're allergic. I know, but this is the best part. You're over 21. I wonder what he'll do when Rebecca doesn't come. having a Collins. He's also paying a great deal of attention to that little waitress for a man who's waiting for Rebecca Mead. My sister was courted by a boy that looked like him. He was in peanuts. Good heavens! I'll bet he thinks that's Rebecca. I've been waiting for you. I'm Mal Wesson. Do you mind if I sit down? Maybe we can have that drink. Well, I have an appointment at 6.30. Well, I hope I can make you miss it. How about a drink? We won't have enough time if we have a drink here. We can have a drink any way you like. Mr. 
really nice place you have here. You in the real estate business? Yeah. I could move in here. Work on a book while she's at her aunt's. So you've got a lot of interesting things here. Twenty dollars, honey. In advance. Twenty dollars? Twenty dollars in advance, Mal. Tramp. Well, I've been called worse. I wouldn't give you twenty nickels. Well, you're one of those, huh? I'm not one of anything. Well, it's been nice meeting you. Now, if you don't mind letting yourself out, I've got an appointment. Wait a minute. Do you know what I did last night? Do you know what an idiot you made of me? Well, let me tell you, Rebecca. I sat in front of your aunt's house, had two bunches of flowers, and I waited for you to come home. Does that give you a laugh? Well, I don't think it's so funny. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, don't con me. I was there. Uh, listen, I think you'd better go outside and get a little air. Shake your hands off me, you fake. Maybe you could pull that $20 routine on the suckers that believe that fiancé in Hawaii bull, but not me. I'm gonna call the police. I'm gonna call the police. Go of me, you think you're doing it. Marie? Come here. Get out of here. Stay 
gold. Get to the bank, get my money out. <laughs> she thought she was too good to have one lousy drink of me. I can tell her off. Cop, looking at me. It's lucky. Doesn't know who I am. Too dumb. Be cool. Keep walking to the bank. Get my money. It's mine. Gotta know it wasn't you. Gotta know. Tell you how lousy you are. Just answer this phone and I'll tell you what you are. Up and get out of these shoes before I strangle. Now don't try to con me. Where is she? We know who you are, so you might just as well pack up and take yourself away from here, Mr. Weston. I said, where is she? He wants to see Rebecca. Now, don't dance me. Where is she? I think we should phone that Mr. Hallam, Sophie T. No, 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 you're not phoning anybody. Now, where is she? Young man, this will come as a shock, I'm certain. But there is no Rebecca Mead. That's right. Don't give me any of that garbage. There never was a Rebecca Mead. Not lately, anyhow. Rebecca Mead was our aunt. And she's gone to her reward years and years ago. So, there's no reason for you to be here at all. Now, you listen. Sophie T. And you're frightening Shelby, Mrs. Saunders. I'll do more than that. She happens to be the mother of an attorney at law. Shut up! That's very rude, you know. You just shut up and tell me where that lousy tramp is. We've told you. Now, look, I talked to Rebecca Mead. No, no, you, you talked to Sophie T. She just said she was Rebecca Mead. Oh. Evelyn, I think you better take Shelby and Elizabeth home. There's no point in all of us. No. No, no. Nobody's going anywhere. Now, we're, we're all going to stay here until she gets here. Now. now, you just go over there and sit down. Come on, all of you. Move. Move. Move, move, move. One more. Now. Not there, there. I explained to you that Rebecca Mead went to her reward years and years ago. It wasn't her I killed. He's confessing. Sis. Now look. Either you tell me where that tramp is or I'm gonna I'm gonna kill the bunch of you. Why would you do a thing like that? That doesn't make sense. I don't think he's quite well, Sophie T. What do you mean by that, lady? She meant nothing at all. Please try to control yourself, Mr. Weston. Don't Mr. Weston me. Now, I'm gonna find out where Rebecca is or I'm gonna beat it out of you. Oh, you wouldn't do that. 
I think he would. Yes, I would. He's killed once, Sophie T. He has nothing to lose. That's right. Nothing to lose. Then neither have we. If you intend to kill us, we have nothing to lose in trying to stop you. And if you think that we're going to sit quietly by while you take your candlestick to us one by one, you have another think coming, Mr. Weston. Oh, do what I tell you. Why should we? Where is she? If he comes too near, take your hat pin out, stick him with it. You think you're doing, lady? I'll get my rat tail comb. It's aluminum. You get something to protect yourself, Evelyn. The, 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 the scissors on the desk. What? And get something heavy for what? me. The paperweight would just be fine. Ah! Are you about finished with this game, lady? Pay him no mind, girls. You're going to pay me a lot of mind. You're going to tell me where that broad is. You don't know the nightmare she put me through. And if the only way to pay her back is to kill every one of you, that's what I'm going to do. Do you understand? Do you understand? Do you understand that any violent action on your part might bring about some rather painful injuries? Please, try to understand. There is no Rebecca Mead. We made her up. There never was. Really. Never. Try it. You... You're a fool! Police! They're right outside. Sophie saw them! I'd rather you hadn't told him that, dear. And then we all jumped on him. 